Li Shi, Engineering. We look at today's technology and wonder, what could be next? When will efficiencies of size and speed reach a limit? Dr. Li Shi is on the forefront of finding answers to these questions, and his research in nanotechnology could have even broader implications, from transportation to treatments for cancer. This is Tam Chow Huat. He's trying to advance how one is able to look at materials on the nanoscale and how the properties change, and uh, if so, how can we use those changed properties in order to make something that's uh, useful? At his lab at the University of Texas at Austin, much of Lee's work has focused on the heat generated by computer chips. Heat is a major barrier limiting the efficiencies of electronic and other devices, and Lee may have found a material that can help, a thin layer of graphite called graphene. Graphene has high conductivity. We only need to add a very small amount of graphene into the phase change materials. That's sufficient for us to extract the heat. Lee's findings suggest that electronic devices made with graphene will move heat away from hotspots more efficiently than copper or silicone. The result could mean smaller, more efficient devices that can handle more computing power. Lee's lab is also working on a joint project to create thermal energy storage devices that would provide cabin heating and cooling for electric vehicles without draining the electric batteries. In addition, his team has been working on a semiconductor device for generating electric power from heat contained in the engine exhaust of a gasoline-powered vehicle. If you can somehow utilize the thermoelectric device to convert even just 10% of the waste heat, you can use that to power out the AC, for example, in the car. And in the field of healthcare, Lee is partnering with biomedical researchers to use nanomaterials in the area of drug delivery. We want to use that technology to control the size and shape of those nanoparticles so that there's a higher chance the cancer cells will eat them. So then it can help to kill just the cancer cells. Despite Lee's far-reaching research, ultimately his work comes down to one thing, teaching. I think that's the most enjoyable part of the research is actually being a teacher-scholar, doing things that can one day probably change the world.